silver and back pit. Let's go. Before we get started guys, don't forget to head on over to Instagram, give Jed underscore I underscore Carpa a follow and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Yes guys, welcome back to the channel and you join me on a new water here at Silver End. Uh, plenty of fish to go out in here, absolutely buzzing to get back down here, uh, literally just got one rod out. Um, uh, get friend I know, uh, Luke, he fishes this, he fished it last year, he's had quite a few fish out, he's told me a couple of spots to fish, so uh, be rude not to go on his little tactics, um, thank you Luke. Yeah, we're just down here for the day, uh, basically this is just a little recce to be honest, just to get a little feel for the place, have a little look about, and uh, yeah, just, 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 just dip our toes in the water, and uh, yeah, just, just got one rod out at the minute. Uh, went out on a solid bag using a little NS1 uh, yellow wafter because I know they like the maize in here. Another little tip from um, <laughs> from Luke, so I thought we'd go for a little bit of yellow. So yeah, we're just down for the day. And uh, right, I'm going to get this other rod out. I'll see you in a bit. But yes, guys, both rods are out. It's actually about seven o'clock in the morning. The sun is absolutely beaming. Um, I've got some. Yeah, just ignore that. I've just literally just put it out. I think the line's just settling because the right hand one just done that. But yes, guys, that left hand rod I literally just put out on a on a Ronnie rig, uh, with a little size five curve curve shank hook, uh, with a live system wafter with a tipped off of a bit of corn just for a bit of visual. Um, I have got some spod mix to put out. I'll be talking about that a bit later. But um, sort of deciding not to put any out at the minute. I just thought I'd put a single single out on one and um, <laughs> I said guys just ignore that and a solid bag out on the other just to see if um, see if we can try and nick a morning bite because you never know like I said I don't know the water um, typically on waters it does morning bites so we'll probably leave it till about <sighs> say 11, 11, 12 midday maybe we might put um, a couple of spotfuls out and then uh, put a, put a put a bag over the top of one again and yeah another life system wafter uh, like I said I'll talk about the uh, spod mix later but yes guys this place is absolutely stunning um, I believe there's a uh, 10 30s in here up to 37 pound um, loads and loads of backup 20s apparently um, to be honest the average stamp of fish in here is like 20 odd pound or over 20 pounds so any of you guys that uh, obviously been fishing for quite a few years will realise that <coughs> will realise that um, Silver End is quite a historic place. Uh, back in the day, it used to be um, you know quite a quite a good water held some really big fish in here. But yes, guys, as you can see, the old wildlife on here is uh, yeah got some friendly uh, swans that keep coming over and saying hello. Um, literally horses right next to you um, my daughter would love it over here uh, yeah like I said this horses right next to you come right up to you um, lovely lovely place yeah I'm on the uh, the uh, south bank um, I think there's like four or five swims along here um, about 12 and a half wraps out which is where I've been fishing where I am fishing sorry uh, there's a, a, a gravel bar um, I haven't leaded it about, I've just gone on what uh, Lucas said and I felt the lead down and it went down with FUD. So absolutely lovely. Like I said guys, this is just a little little day session, a little recce, just so I can show you guys where I'm going to be fishing throughout this year. Uh, this is going to be my little club water just to fall back on. Obviously I'm going to be fishing it quite a lot because I want to get um, some of the nice named fish out. Um, there is... A fish in here called the Grey or Mr. Grey. Uh, I'm not sure how big it goes. Uh, probably 30 something, but it hasn't been out for like two, three years, I believe. So hopefully, hopefully we can bag that. If not, any of the 30s would do. The PB would do. But yes, guys, I'm gonna stop waffling on. I'm gonna have a coffee, and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Welcome back. Uh, 
fella to come round. Um, black spot come out last night, £35. Pound. Um, come and have a little chat. Um, nice to know the fish are coming out. I um, think he was a bit over the moon as well. But yeah, we're going to have a little recast soon. It's coming up to about 10, 11 o'clock. Ignore that. It's literally a swan going through my line. They've been buggers. But yeah, just going to stick a little bit of spot mix out. Not a lot. Um, literally, we're going for the live system. Started off with uh, basically crumbing some up in the old Ridge Monkey. And then we put a little handful of 15 and 18 millers into a bucket. Um, just put some of the bait booster on it. Um, and put some... We we'll literally just put some hot water on it, just to, just to cover it, not a lot. Uh, put the lid on for 24 hours, uh, let it soak in. And then we added... We just beeped off, bobbin lifted up a little bit. Um, there's no, no swans around that. But yes guys, <laughs> literally put some more booster liquid on it when we opened it up. Um, literally some some crumb we poured the crumb in uh, not a lot and then uh, maize works well on here so we um, put some maize on it as well um, give it a little mixed up um, but yeah we're gonna put some of that out so not a lot probably a couple of spots on each uh, probably gonna change change a spot as well um, been told to fish 10 wraps out so I might have one at 12 and a half and one at 10 um, look at that guys, it's absolutely stunning out there, absolutely beautiful, I don't know if you can see where that swan is now, literally that dead tree, uh, I think that's where roughly that area, the uh, black spot come out, but yes guys, it looks absolutely lovely out there, we have seen one fish wash out, wash out just to the left of me, and open water, so that's a good sign. Looks like they're starting to wake up. Anyway guys, I'm just going to watch the water and I will speak to you soon. Well guys, nothing's happened yet, unfortunately, but by all accounts it isn't a runs water, it is uh, it is fairly hard, um, but there is some nice gems in here. Um, unfortunately, as I said before, I can't night fish yet until uh, 1st of April, well, that's if I get offered a night ticket because I only let so many... Um, they only let so many out per year so hopefully from the 1st of April I might get that that email and I'll be able to uh, night fish it otherwise it's literally just going to be day fishing on here for a year until I'm guaranteed a night ticket next year um, but let's fingers crossed guys we do get a night ticket because um, that will probably put a spanner in my works if I can only uh, day fish this but yes guys, don't forget, hit that bell icon, don't forget to subscribe, give it a like guys, over 90% of my viewers have not subscribed, come on guys, hit that subscribe button. And guys, what did you think about the old ending of Chigbra, my old winter campaign, uh, what a way to uh, finish that, hey? 
And also, guys, don't forget to head over to my Instagram. Give that a little follow. And uh, where, where, where are we next? Next, we will be at Koken Farm. We are there for five nights. Absolutely buzzing to get back down there. Not been on Oak since... Uh, last July when we had that uh, little bumper session that red letter session absolutely cannot wait to get back down there like I said we've got five nights um, literally just gonna I'm not gonna pile the bait in it's just gonna be a nice little social we've got Lee boy um, Alex is coming down uh, my mate Lee from work is gonna be there so we're all, we're all together in the same sort of sort of sort of area that's gonna be good Hopefully, guys, we're going to bag a PB. Um, hopefully, there's going to be PBs all round. Um, that's going to be quite good. Uh, I've got a, got a little Q&A questions for everybody. Going to sit them down. I've given them a little interview sort of thing. So, look out for that. But, yes, guys. Um, won't be down here again until probably the end of April, to be fair. Well, anyway, guys, I am going to watch the water. Not seen much yet, really. I think I've seen the odd little fish, maybe like a tench or a bream or something. Um, the swans are relentless, keep going through my lines. Um, I had another little rechuck, and I basically slackened them off loads, and yeah, they're still going through my lines and picking them up. They're absolutely a nightmare. But yes, guys, I'm going to watch the water. I've uh, got a few hours left. Um, half one now probably going to leave about five, half five, six maybe who knows Who knows? if we start seeing some uh, fish boshing about and that then we might stay a little bit later but yes guys, tie lines wherever you are stay safe and I'll speak to you soon well guys, that is it <laughs> unfortunately we didn't catch anything but to be honest I didn't really think I would catch anything because I know it's quite a difficult water but the main reason we come down here is to have a little recce basically come down have a look at the water see what's about see where the fish are moving maybe meet a couple of the regulars have a little chat with them but yes guys don't forget to give us a little follow on Instagram give this video a little like hit that subscribe button while you're there hit that bell icon I'll see you in two or three weeks time Coaching farm baby Oh,